All right, guys, so what's up, everybody? Today I wanna to talk to you about uh, my insulin pump. So in a previous video, I did a review on the pump when I was doing a free trial. They gave it to me for a week, let me try it out, see if I liked it or not. I wasn't 100% sure. Good news, I decided to go with it, and I've had it for a couple months now. So it's an incredible device. Um, super customizable as far as hour to hour. It helped me with my Dawn Phenomenon. It does a whole lot of stuff in the background. It's got the computer. It takes care of the carb counts and the correction factors and everything for me. So it's a lot less stress going into my diabetes management. So decided to get it and it's been a huge help. Today, I wanna to show you guys how to do an insulin site pump change or an insulin pump site change. Um, and what goes into that. So it's not terribly complicated, but um, the first few times I did it, it took me about 45 minutes just to get everything right. I wanted to make sure that the system delivering insulin to me was uh, put together correctly, you know? Um, but now it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes tops, and it's a lot less stressful because I know what I'm doing. It's become um, habit. So without further ado, um, I will show you guys. Well, I've got some of the kits here. We, I used True Steel which is, um, it's a steel needle that goes right in. The other options for this is a plastic catheter that goes in at a diagonal angle. The reason they told me not to go with that one, for me specifically, is that the plastic catheter sometimes can get kinked and it bends and that can uh, impede the flow of insulin to your body, which means you have a blockage, which means you're not getting the insulin you need, which can lead to unexplained high blood sugars. Uh, so for my body type and my active lifestyle, it told me to go with the True Steel, which for some people is more uncomfortable, but for me, I, uh, I don't even notice it's there most of the time. And then second is the, uh, the insulin pump, the cartridge, the syringe, um, the needle, all that stuff, nicely packed in here. Actually, needles in this one. <laughs> but we got those. So the True Steel, gonna open it up. This is my last one for this box. Oh, there we go, true steel. It's like Superman. So, here we have the true steel kit right there. Gonna open that up. And here we got all sorts of tubing and uh, the actual sight that's gonna be going in. Set that aside. Now we're gonna open this guy up. Oh, almost dropped it. We have a nice little configuration in there. T-Slim insulin pump. So that's the, the thing that holds the insulin. Then we have the top half of the syringe. And then we will pull out, if I can do it with one hand, there we go, the tip of the syringe, the needle. Let's get that on camera, there we go. Uh, and that is it from this box. And of course, my insulin pen. So the pump, uh, means I don't have to use my Lantus anymore. No more long-acting insulin because it's always delivering the short-acting insulin. And you're wondering what this little clip doohickey is on there. This is, uh, it's like a key kind of. It props the insulin pump out of the machine. And uh, you can also use a coin, honestly. But I clip it onto the insulin pen, makes it a lot easier to use. So, where is my insulin pump? Hard to see because uh, you know, I hit it so well, obviously. My insulin pump is on my lower back right now, so I'll get up and show you guys that. We have, there's the pump, Oop. and there's the sight. So this is the needle, there's the tubing, this is a sticker to make sure you don't rip out the needle, and then I have it fed in through my boxers actually, I'll pull it out for you guys. This is so it doesn't get hooked on doorknobs or other people. I'm hugging them, there we go. So, we have the full tubing, my insulin pu pump site, and what we're gonna do here, I'll sit back down, is, I don't even know if you can see it, oh, look at that, 135 blood sugar, pretty good, steady, just had lunch. Um, I have my CGM incorporated in this, so let's see if I can get this on screen. I'm connected to it, so it makes it kind of difficult to show, but ugh, here we go. So you can see the CGM data on there, that line. Went a little bit high after breakfast, that was kind of frustrating. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into options. I'm going to stop insulin. All delivery stopped. So now I can pull it off and show you guys a little better. I'm going to unclip it from that sticker I showed you guys. 
if I can unclip it with one hand, let's see. He's done it. Okay, so here we have the tubing. This is what I do for showers as well. You put a little cap on the end of it so it's waterproof, and you go take a shower, you can go for a swim, do whatever you want. Uh, so it says in the bottom, options, insulin delivery has been stopped. All delivery stopped. So now I'm going to go into options and hit down. Go to load, change cartridge. It says disconnect the infusion set from your body and press next to continue. You see that screen right there? So it's disconnected. I'm going to push next. Preparing for cartridge. Now it says this screen right here. Boom, boom. Remove the cartridge and install a filled cartridge. Press the unlock button when completed. So first, actually, I'm gonna take out my current site so that I can be done with it. Gonna get up for this. No, I'm just gonna rip it up because I don't wanna deal with it. Let's go right. One, two, three. All right, so that's the needle. Now I get the sticker off. Honestly, this part's even harder especially if you have hair which I don't hear thankfully but there we go these things are really sticky which is good you don't want it coming off um, the purpose of that is so that when something tugs on the tube me if it gets stuck on a doorknob or whatever it pulls on that sticker first before it pulls on the needle that would be painful um, I've actually had it ripped out twice once was my own fault uh, my finger got stuck on it and ripped it out Second time I was at the beach and uh, my dog ripped it up. So that uh, it can be painful, but in a couple of months it's happened twice and that's when I was getting used to it. So is isn't really an issue. Um, personally, I like to bend the needle over so that it's not gonna poke anybody and then I put it into a sharps container. So let's get going with refilling this insulin stuff. This life-saving insulin. So I'm gonna open up the pump. And I always try to make sure you're in a sanitary environment. Obviously, I'm outside right now. Not the best, but just clean the table, so should be fine. So we've got this, got the pump, or not the pump, the uh, where the insulin goes. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna take everything out of their packages. So you got this syringe right here. There we go. Boom, syringe. Sure, you've seen plenty of those before as a diabetic. And here we have the needle portion in its protective sheath so we don't stab ourselves on accident. Going to screw that together. There we go. And next, pull out the insulin right there. Take that protective cap off. And we're going to draw the insulin out of the pen. Some people use vials. And that's totally cool. I'm actually gonna be getting vials soon. But for now, I still have some leftover Humalog pens. So we are drawing out the insulin. I'm gonna go for about one and a half. Yeah, 1.6. Yeah, gently pull that out of there. Close the cap. So now that I have insulin in here, Oh, my pump's beeping at me because it knows it's not connected. Um, have the insulin in. We're going to stick it in the, uh, again, whatever I call this, where the insulin goes. The cartridge. There we go. So, put it in there. And what we're doing, we're going to suck out the air from the cartridge because we don't want air bubbles in there. We're going to pull out until... Uh, there's no more large bubbles. So we're gonna pull this out. There we go. Now it has no air inside of it. Now what I'm gonna do, get rid of the air that I just pulled out. So we're gonna get the bubbles up top and then squeeze it. There we go. All right, we are left with 1.6, perfect. So, got uh, my insulin in there, no air bubbles, which is perfect. Exactly how I want it. We get our cartridge again. Let's stick it back in. I know my hand's kind of blocking it. There we go. Get the needle in the cartridge. Get all that insulin in there. You can go as fast as you want, but I like to do it kind of controlled. And then once we reach the bottom, we're gonna keep it compressed so you don't get any air bubbles in there and pull it out. 
So now it's full of insulin. The, uh, the amount, by the way, of insulin that you're gonna be putting in to your cartridge is gonna vary person to person. So as I've changed my diet, I've gone from eating less insulin to more or more to less. And uh, that's going to vary. So you talk to your endocrinologist, talk to the tech support at Tandem or whoever your pump is, um, and they'll give you the right amount average to put in there because it's going to last for three days. So disconnect the needle from the top half of the syringe. That's going in a sharps container as well. And this part doesn't have to because it's just plastic. So we can toss that in the trash. Now, the fun part. We are going to use this fancy key. It goes right in there. You can kind of see a divot to, there we go, pop it out. And there you go. Looks just like the other one, right? And we left this pump by itself. Do not confuse these old with the new. You don't want to put the old one back in because that doesn't have any insulin in it. So we will set that aside. We have this guy. Going to slide that right in to the hear click. There it is. And let the pump know. Well, not yet. Now we're going to grab this, the tubing, so we can connect it. So first up, this guy. All right, so we have this tubing. We want this end is gonna to connect to the site eventually. This is going to connect to the pump. Right there. This is an interesting looking one. It's not uh, the same as the last one I saw. I mean, it's the same, you know what I mean. A little extra plastic there. So with this piece, we're gonna connect them right like that you twist it on boom connected now we get this piece let me find the other piece in this tray the needle portion as you can see the needle is covered nice and protected so we don't hurt ourselves I'm gonna take off this protective piece and connect the two see those you can kind of see that I don't know but uh, there we go so click connected. Now that we have the whole thing connected, I'm going to go back in here. And it says the cartridge loading process has not been completed. Warning. I know cuz we're still giving insulin to the, the cartridge. So now I'm on a screen that says this. You guys can read that. It says remove the cartridge and install a filled cartridge. Pre press the unlock button when completed. So I just did that. So I'm going to press unlock and it says press next to continue. Press next. It is detecting the cartridge. You kind of see it on there. There we go. It's kind of taking a little while. 40%. There we go. So it's figuring out how much insulin, uh, roughly, that you put in there. We're at 70%. It goes pretty quick. I'm going to start organizing my trash. There we go. Cartridge changed. Check. We're on this screen which says, make sure the set is disconnected from your body and securely connect the tubing to your cartridge. Press next to fill your tubing with insulin. Now the extremely important reason why we want to make sure it's disconnected from our body is what? Air. We don't want this pumping air into us and eventually we don't want it pumping insulin into us without us knowing. So, disconnected so they can fill or prime the tubing with insulin and get it ready for the connection to our body. So, I'm gonna hit next get to this screen where it says fill tubing and start. I'm going to hit start, get some of the air bubbles out. They should all be out already, but that's just habit. But the tandem representative told me to do that, so I do it every time now. Now that's beeping because it's putting insulin through, it's going to let it sit on the table. Now usually it takes, with my specific kit, it takes about 12 units to prime the tubing or to fill the tubing with insulin. Um, I mean, it's usually uh, 11 to 12 units. So at that point, um, it says to uh, wait until you see droplets of insulin at the end of the needle, which means it's pushed all the way through and you're gonna have insulin uh, ready to go. So as soon as you hit you know, 0.5 units, you're getting exactly 0.5 and not 0.3 plus, plus uh, 0.2 of air. You don't want any air in your body, it's not a good thing especially if you're missing out on insulin delivery. So it fills up pretty quick. 
We are currently at 10.5 units. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and make sure I don't miss it. And there we go, oh, 11.3 droplet. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. Oh, I just lost the droplet. Can you see it? There you go, oh, perfect shot. Got a droplet on the end of the tubing, which means it is ready for me to use. So, detecting insulin, now we're on this screen. Oop, I don't wanna mess this up. This one shows, if you see drops at the end of the tubing, press done. If no insulin drops are noticed, press fill, continue filling. Amount filled, 12 units. Boom, nailed it. So, I see droplets, I'm gonna push done. And, gives us check marks. If you are using the plastic cannula, it will give you an option, if you can see that, come on camera. It will give you an option to fill cannula as well, which requires a little bit more insulin. However, I don't have a cannula since I'm using the true steel. So, gonna push done. It says test blood glucose in one to two hours and ask me if I wanna resume insulin now. Uh, I do not because it's not connected to me yet. So, now comes the fun part, sticking the needle into my back. So, oh. Also important, remember to change your pump sites. You don't want to deal with anything. Um, if you put insulin in the same sites too often, you'll build up scar tissue, which will uh, increase your insulin resistance, which is not good. So, I'm gonna take this off because it's kind of bulky. And then we'll get to pump site change. I know this is kind of a long video, but you're watching it for instructionals, so it's good. So you can see my back. I can't even see my back. I'm gonna put it right there. So I can pinch an inch. That's where you wanna go. A Little bit of love handle action there. So, gonna pull off this protective sheath. There we go. Pull off these little ears. Boom. And we're gonna plan out. We want this, let me think. Do I want it here or like that? I'm gonna go like that. So that way the tubing comes out to the side, which will enable me to hold on to it easier. All right, so, gotta hold my shirt right there. And just like that, sticks on, boom, we got it. So now, I'm gonna pull off these stickers. It's a little tough on the back because it's hard to see what you're doing, but I'm going to put that just above the waistline, right there. Alrighty, and we're in business. So make sure it's in a good spot with some extra, you know, skin, <laughs> fat, I know. Um, and we're going to come in here, you can see it has the resume insulin, and we're going to resume. Resuming insulin. And what I am going to do is tuck this in a little bit, like I said, to avoid getting it stuck on door handles. And right like that, we are all set, good to go. All right guys, so that is it for the insulin pump site change. And uh, for anyone interested, I actually run a program with my wife for FDF Warrior. So uh, I'm a type 1, as you can tell. I uh, wear a pump, I take insulin, I've been type 1 for over 8 years. And we created a program that is uh, it's diabetic education, it's fitness, it's nutrition. Uh, we're both certified personal trainers and nutritionists. And we created a community of diabetics to go through a program together to learn how to better manage your diabetes and to live life fearlessly. We teach you about mindset nutrition, fitness, workout plans. We have instructional videos on that. We teach you everything we know because we want your life to be just a little bit easier because we know how hard diabetes can hit you and, and ultimately how difficult life can be if we let diabetes run it. So we wanna teach you how to take back control over your life and how to live life fearlessly, which is why we dubbed the program with the name The Fearless Diabetic Project. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a, a link in the comment. Love to have you guys on board. It's a super fun group and everyone's super supportive and encouraging and it's a good time while we all encourage each other and ultimately better our lives. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and keep up the fight.